Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome to another episode here about my IFAC, um, the survival first aid individual first aid kit. I've had to use it re recently, and uh, here is some evidence and proof of me. Well, the reason why I had to use it. I uh, broke my um, bone right here. It's called a boxer's fracture. I don't know the scientific name. I'll probably put it up somewhere on here. And so uh, this episode, I'm going to talk about how I use my first aid kit that I bought off of Amazon here. Uh, I use mainly as a SAM splint. That's what I used it for. Um, I, I didn't really use the ACE bandage. This came from the urgent care facility that I went to. Um, also, they do have a, a splint half cast that they made for me. So I'm going to talk about my experience and a little bit about broken bones in general. But let me just go over the kit again. I did buy this off of Amazon, um, just getting ready for preparedness and thought this would be a great idea. Let me just open it up here and let me put this aside for now. Move some of this. And forgive me, I'm doing this one-handed. This is kind of all very new for me. And so in the kit, it folds out and the SAM splint was all rolled up in here. It was already packaged. I used it. Now, by the, by the time I used this, by the time I came home, and I'll try to roll in some B-roll of me jackknifing on my rad power bikes. Basically what happened was I was riding my bike. I was riding my bike and I was crossing over a bridge or an overpass and it was a it wasn't really a narrow sidewalk but there was a guardrail on the on my right side and I was leaning and I was when I was trying to balance out I drifted to, towards the right and a quarter of an inch that's all it took maybe even half an inch my handlebar hit one of the uh, guardrail posts and it forced me to turn the handlebar and I think that's where I fractured my bone is because it, it was sudden it just because I had my hand on the handlebar and it turned and it bap, hit me right here and I jackknifed over the handlebar. The, it caused me to jackknife. I flipped over the handlebar. I'll try to put in some uh, B-roll in there so you can see for yourself. And during that time, I mean, I didn't know I broke a bone at the time, but as I was getting the bike up and I was recovering and trying to get home so I could pick up my youngest, uh, I noticed my right hand kind of uh, hurt a little bit. It felt, uh, well, it did, it did hurt, but it wasn't very painful. I Obviously the adrenaline kicked in or something kicked in where I couldn't feel the pain. But there was a large bump, and again, I'll probably roll in some uh, B-roll so you get an idea of what it looked like. And um, right then, I knew something was wrong. I was like, yeah, something's not right. It's sticking, something's sticking out. And of course, I thought it was the two bones, but the doctor said it's just the, the small bone connected to my pinky, like, like right here, this bone right here. I thought it was like two of these because the way it looked, but... Anyways, anyways, um, so that's what happened. And so when I came home, I used a SAM splint. I didn't cut it. I didn't want to cut the SAM splint because um, I knew I was going to an emergency uh, center, urgent care center. So I didn't want to cut this to make a splint. But basically, uh, and I didn't make it. I had to tell my daughter to like do all this stuff for me. But essentially what I did is I folded it in half, kind of like, and I'm doing this one-handed, so it's kind of hard. I folded it in kind of like this, and then I made a splint for myself. Now, normally you wouldn't do this. You would have, you would actually like cut this and then fold it. You would uh, fold it in half, okay? And then you would, you would kind of, this is very bendable. It bends back, obviously. And I'm trying to do it now. Nah, okay. But you would make a half splint and you would, you know, do something like this. Um, of course, it was 
too complicated to tell my daughter to do that. So I just told her to just keep folding it, folding it into a small size, something like, like this. And then essentially I, I just kept it like this just to keep it stable. And um, I ended up, I have a wrist brace as well, which didn't come in here. But I think I'll put try to figure out how different ways to put these in here. I have to roll this up, put it back in here. But I did use the first aid kit, the, the IFAC, the survival IFAC. And so with this, I wrapped this around. Let me see, how did I do it? I think I did something like this. So, you, I mean, you, you get the picture, right? I did something like this. And then, oh, uh, this is, and then I wrapped it around. It's smaller than this, of course. And I wrapped it around, and, and this is how I originally had it. So, and uh, so I could just easily take it off because I knew I was going to the emergency urgent care. So I, I didn't really want to cut this because I'd rather really use this in a true emergency situation where I wouldn't be able to get to a urgent care center uh, in relatively short time. So, but when I went to the doctor, when I went to the doctor, what I found was, um, that I did have a broken bone. I took the x-ray. I'll try to uh, show the x-ray and uh, show you where the fracture was. And there's basically four, no, five stages. So I'm going to go over like some of the things that your bone does to repair itself. So there's five stages in bone healing. Okay. So the five stages are a hematoma or hematomin. I'll, I'll try to list it as I go on, inflammatory, and see, I'm in the stage of inflammatory. So uh, today is, what is today? Oh, God, this is, just doing simple things is such a, uh, such a hassle. What is today? Today is February the 24th, Monday. This happened on a Friday, February the 21st. So the hematoma or hematomin stage happens immediately. Once your bone breaks, the blood starts to clot around where the bone breaks and then inflammatory stage starts happening. So you start to get in a swelling like I have here. This is huge. Like right here is where majority of the swelling has actually come up to my thumb. The bone broke right here, but you can see the swelling has spread all to my hand now. And my thumb is just like a big sausage, you know, anyways. So uh, the second stage is, or the second phase of it is uh, inflammatory. And so I'm in the inflammatory stage and this lasts about seven days, about a week. So I, I was just prescribed ibuprofen. I'll be taking a lot of ibuprofen. And then after that, hopefully the swelling will go down and I'm probably gonna have to go to the uh, orthopedist. And that's when the healing actually really starts with the soft callus. The soft callus of the bone will start forming. And that's about a, a one to two week period. And then the hard callus, all right, that's when the, the um, bone here um, starts to really get hard and fuse together. And you'll probably end up, I'll probably end up getting a large swell of bone right here and that's where it's hardening and hopefully by then most of it is healed and that's probably four to six weeks and then beyond six weeks or during six the six week and beyond is remodeling and that's where the bone is uh, all, all the different cells in this process they're 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 forming new bone they're shaping the bone they're shaving the bone they're taking away dead bones, nerves are being redone, and uh, all these different cells, uh, stem cells and everything start happening in here. And uh, right now, all the cells here are rushing to my broken bone. That's why it's swelling. But uh, once, it gets to, once you get to the phase of remodeling, which is towards the end of your healing process, and that will continue on for years, um, there's different cells in here that will shave that bone to the right uh, density. And depending on how much you use your hand, and it'll, it'll give it the right density 
for the weight proportional to the weight that you use. So your leg bones are more denser and thicker than your arm bone. So uh, my hand bone will probably not be that that dense. And so, but in the meantime, one of the things I'm doing with my left hand is I'm just, you know, trying to build more dexterity in my left hand with this little stress ball. Just, and uh, it doesn't have to be like building muscle. I'm just trying to build dexterity, just move it around, toss it up and try to catch it, you know, stuff like that, because I'm totally reliant on my left hand for everything. And let me tell you, it's been a challenge. Um, all of a sudden, I am left-handed, and my left hand is not my dominant hand. So I'm using this to kind of just, uh, you know, bounce around and catch. You know, that's what I'm doing, like just simple stuff like that, just to build dexterity, move it around, do this, spin it the other way around. So um, one of the things I'm doing here, and so... I just wanted to share with you all, this is what happened to me. Uh, I will won't be making Rad Power Bikes video that much. I don't know what I'm going to do. The front fork is like warped. Um, I, I'm probably going to call Rad Power Bikes to see if they could, I could get Velofix to come out and do repair work on it. But I won't be riding uh, a bicycle for at least at least six weeks. And it's not a great time for me to get injured considering, you know, the coronavirus going around. But anyways, just want to share with you and the five stages of bone healing, give you my um, personal uh, experience with breaking a bone. Hopefully you'll stick around. I'll make more videos and give you progress of how the bone heals and everything if you're ever interested in that. Um, when I went to the emergency care, this is what they did. This is the bandage that came from the emergency care. And you'll see some like gauze here. And then within the gauze, there there was this right here. It's hard. And it's a half cast. So only the bottom portion of it is hard. It's a cast. Uh, it was a soft material. It was, uh, there's in between the two gauzes. Okay, you'll see right here. Let me see if I get a, if I can show you. So in between the two gauzes is a hard plastic material that fused, that's that's hardened. Uh, it wasn't hard, it was soft. And what, what the doctor did was he folded the two gauze between, he sandwiched it between the uh, plastic. And I think he sprayed some kind of uh, hardening agent on it. And then he molded it to my hand and put the ACE bandage over it and then right now it's just uh he, he made a splint for me a much better splint than the sam splint but if you don't have anything this is very useful that was for emergency but now that i went to the urgent care it's basically a splint or a half cast and uh, it was some kind of plastic with some resin he squirted resin on it and then he sandwiched it between two uh gauze strips and uh he molded it to the to my hand like this and then he put the ace bandage around and then it, it basically is hardened so this is kind of what i have so anyways uh again i'll up you, update everything with you guys if you want to stick around and and learn more about how your bone heals uh, please subscribe like and share and uh, leave a comment tell me your experience about you know broken bones what kind of things have you learned and what do you do to recover and what do you keep on hand just in case for emergencies until next time uh, uh, thumbs up everybody i'll talk to you later bye